Determine a simplified expression for the lateral surface area of the prism below. So we have this tip here that lateral area does not include the top or bottom. We're only interested in on this area of these sides, including the, the back there and the side here. So these four sides, what's the area added up? So we have this uh, very cool technique here. The lateral area of a prism, this rectangular prism, this box, is equal to the perimeter of the base, the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. We have the height here, x plus 2, and we have the perimeter of the base. We have 2x plus 1, we have 2x minus 1, and then we have uh, 2x plus 1 on the back, this little back here, as well as we have 2x minus 1 on this side over here, hiding behind this box. Now, this formula here is, is pretty s slick because it's fast. However, conceptually, it might be a bit harder to understand. So let's try it a little bit more uh, another way besides this technique. To find the lateral surface area, I'm going to say the area of the lateral is equals to two times the area of the front plus we'll just say that's the the reason why I say two times the area of the front is because the front and the back are the same so two fronts is basically taking care of the front and the back plus two times area of side we'll just pick any side we'll just say that this is the side now the question is, what is our area of the front? This here is equals to two times. The area of the front happens to be the width times the height, which is x plus two times two x plus one. So I'm just copying it from above now. Area of the side. The area of the side, we have the bottom of the rectangle here, which is 2x minus 1 and we have the height which is x plus 2 so once we're at this stage it's just a matter of using some basic algebra so I'm gonna just keep the 2 here and I'm gonna expand it out this is simply foil so first we go multiply the first two parts which is 2x squared and then we do the outside, which is x times 1. It's going to be plus x. I'm going to do the, the inside, which is 4x, positive 4x. And then we're going to do the last part, which is positive 2 times positive 1 is going to be positive 2. This here, x plus 4x becomes positive 5. And let me just finish this right part off here. So doing this a bit faster, 2x times x is 2x squared. We have positive 4x minus x is positive 3x. And then negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. So we're just going to expand this out now. We have, so expanding this way, <clears throat> this is 4x squared. So 2 times positive 5 uh, x, excuse me, don't forget that, is going to be positive 10x, positive 4. And then expanding these out, it's going to be positive 4x squared, positive 6x, negative 4. We're going to gather like terms. We have x squared here, we have x squared here, and then we have our x's over here, and over here, and the rest are just numbers. So first of all, let's focus on the x squared, which are underlined. 4x squared plus 4x squared is 8x squared, and we have the red boxes, which is positive 10x plus 6x is going to be positive 16x. 
And finally, we have a little red squigglies, which is positive four, negative four is gonna be zero. So I'm not gonna bother writing plus zero. So our final answer is eight x squared plus 16 x. And that looks like choice A. Great.